welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I finished a book and I'm doing a review. Um, I belong to Continent Readathon on Goodreads and the month of February we were supposed to read a author that um, is in Africa. So I picked up a few books from the library and I actually um, read this one. Um, and I could not renew, um, because there was a wait list on this book. So, um, I had to pick this up and I read this in like four days. Um, I really enjoyed it. The book's name is Purple Hibiscus. Um, and it, I don't know how to say the author's name, but you can see it there. Um, and this book takes place in Nigeria. And it's about, it is a young adult book, so it's about a 15-year-old girl who, um, li she is a, she lives with her mother and father and her brother, and she is, her father is very wealthy, and he is very religious, uh, Catholic-wise. Um, because he's very religious, um, he has, there's a lot of, uh, religious aspect to this book, um, but, um, uh, it's not a happy, uh, family. There is some child abuse in, within this book. Um, anyway, so what happens is she goes to visit, uh, her and her brother go to visit her aunt in another, um, town where they live. And they find out that the cousins are treated differently than that they are being treated. And, um, I'm trying not to give you any spoilers just to say the synopsis. Um, <laughs> uh, so they go to live just for a vacation, like a week, uh, week vacation at their aunt's house and the aunt treats them so much differently. They live poorly, the aunt, um, there's different things that they do differently than what she does because she lives in, uh, she has wealthy and her, uh, aunt is poor so you can see the differences and also the way they the they treat the children are different um i really enjoyed this book i kept reading it um the, i would have gave this book five stars um the reason i gave this four stars is because i had a difficult time uh reading the names in this book and whenever that happens to me i always bring it down a star because I have a hard time reading that type of book. Uh, the names in this book and the names of the towns and the names of the places, I can't pronounce them and they're very hard to read. And for me, when I read, I try to read fast and I wound up skipping over those names and then I can't figure out who's talking and stuff like that. So that's the only thing that annoyed me about this book. Otherwise, the story and what happened to her and all that throughout this book um, is uh, very um, heartbreaking. So, and also the ending was very good. So, um, in, um, in conclusion, I gave this four stars. Um, I read this for um, Continent Readathon, and I will put the link below if you want to join. Um, in the month of February, we are reading Africa um, authors, and I don't know what the next couple of months will be, but um, she plans to do six different uh, countries throughout the year, and I think it's every other month. So if you'd like to join, I will put the link below. And I highly recommend picking this one up if you haven't read it yet. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye!